going to learn lesson 2 it is about naratif hari ini kita akan belajar tentang naratif teks naratif teks adalah teks yang berbentuk cerita dongeng atau fabel mitos atau legend legenda maksud mislia nah pada bab ini kita akan belajar tentang hewan dongeng itu yang berjudul goldilocks and the three bears Tujuan naratif teks to per the purpose of naratif naratif teks is to entertain, amuse or instruct. Jadi tujuannya benar-benar untuk menghibur. Ada tiga ada empat struktur dari naratif teks yaitu orientation, complication, evaluation and resolution. Nah, biasanya Ciri-ciri bahasanya itu time words used to connect events, ada specific participants atau characters, lalu ada action words, dan juga uh, noun in describing settings and characters. Yuk dengar rekaman halaman 22. Let's listen. The audio recorder, page 22. Listen and tick. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She had long, curly blonde hair. One day, she went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon, she came upon a house. She knocked, but no one answered. She then walked right in. On the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl. Ouch! This porridge is too hot! She exclaimed. So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. Ow! This porridge is too cold! She said. Then she tried the third bowl. Ah! This porridge is just right! She said happily. As she ate it all up. After eating the porridge, she walked into the living room and she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat on the first chair. Oh no, this chair is too high! She exclaimed. So she sat on the second chair. This chair is too high too! She whined. So she tried the last and lowest chair. Ah, this chair is just right! She sighed. But just as she sat down on the chair, it broke into pieces. Oops, said Goldilocks. Goldilocks then went upstairs. She went into the bedroom. She saw three beds in the bedroom. Hmm, I'm so sleepy, Goldilocks yawned. She lay down on the first bed. Oh no, this bed is too hard, said Goldilocks. She tried the second bed. Oh no, this bed is too soft, said Goldilocks. Then she lay down on the third bed. Ah, this bed is just right, sighed Goldilocks. She then fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, and it's all gone, cried Baby Bear. Then the three bears went into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting on my chair, and now it's broken, cried Baby Bear. Next, 
the three bears went upstairs. Someone's been sleeping on my bed, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping on my bed too, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping on my bed, and she's still there, shouted Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She was scared. She screamed, "Help!" Then she jumped off the bed and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran back into the forest. Hasil dari audio listening tadi, Miss Lia sudah mendapatkan jawabannya. Bagaimana dengan anak-anak? Ya, boleh disalin ya. Next, open your book page 25. Let's watch MP4. Next, listen and do, dengar dan lakukan. Grow like Papa Bear. Hug like Mama Bear. Cry like Baby Bear. Scream like Goldilocks. In Indonesia, in Indonesia, menggeram seperti ayah beruang. Berpelukan seperti mama ber ruang berpelukan menangis seperti anak beruang berteriak seperti goldilocks nah anak-anak bisa menirukan di rumah berikut pembahasan dari halaman 26 alur cerita goldilocks dan tiga beruang Bagaimana dengan anak-anak? Anak-anak dapat menyalin di bukunya. Let's see page 31. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest until she came up on a house. She knocked the door. When nobody answered, she opened it. The door. She saw three bowls of the porridge in the kitchen. She tasted the first bowl, but it was too hot. She then tasted the second bowl, but it was too cold. Finally, she tasted the third bowl. It was just right, and she ate it up. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks went to the living room. She saw three chairs there. She sat on the first chair, but it was too high. She sat on the second chair. It was too high too. Finally, she sat on the third chair. It was just right, 
but it broke so she fell to the floor goldilocks then went upstairs she came to a bathroom where there were three beds she was sleepy she lay down on the first bed but it was too hard after that she lay down on the second bed but it was too soft finally she lay down on the third bed it was just right not too soft and not too hard soon goldilocks fell asleep yuk lihat halaman 29 ada dua surat yang dibuat oleh goldilocks dan papa bear Silakan jawab halaman 30 berdasarkan pembahasan yang sudah Miss Lia buat. Okay, that's all for today, students. I hope you understand about this material. I'm so happy to learn English learning today about narrative with you all. Bye-bye!